Hello Capricorn, thank you for checking out this video. This is going to be messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 16th through the 31st. These are going to be a general general reading, so general messages. Um, it won't resonate with every Capricorn out there. If it does not resonate, please check out your other signs. Uh, and if it does resonate, please let me know. Leave me a comment, like, or subscribe. So let's see what we have in store for Capricorn for the last two months of December. If you're new here, which I know you are because I just started this channel, I tend to do, um, for my general readings, a six-card spread. And I do clarify and look at the bottom of the deck for kind of the heart of the matter or the signifier. So let's see what we have in store for Capricorn. Wheel of Fortune starting off strong. The Tower, geez. Five of Wands, okay. All right, starting off with a bang. Nine of Swords, Knight of Swords, The Hanged Man, okay. Bottom of the deck, we have Queen of Cups. All right, Capricorn, so this could be you. It could be that you are feeling a little bit sensitive you could be in love there could be somebody that's viewing you like this like a very nurturing loving person we'll clarify and see what that's all about but usually when i see queen of cups i think of being emotionally stable uh, in tune with your emotions um a healthy mindset love So Wheel of Fortune here and the Tower, I really think this is the new moon coming to play here. There is something that has been brought down. The wheel is turning. Everything is divinely guided and in divine timing. Um, and, I mean, foundations are crumbling down for something new to begin. I feel like you probably are dealing with a little bit of drama right now. A little bit of sleepless nights and worry. Doubting, maybe about a certain situation that you're, you're, you're in. And I feel like there's going to be a message coming in of some sort, a truth that cannot be ignored, maybe brought on by this tower. You're going to be looking at things in a whole new perspective here. This is all about being enlightened or looking at things from a different scenario and, and kind of weighing things and really thinking about things letting go and trusting so let's clarify let's see what's going on here by the way i have the world <laughs> just just saying all right let's start with the queen of cups tell me about this queen of cups here for capricorn why the queen of cups the queen of cups if you hear any noises in the background it's my dog kind of comes and goes High Priestess. Sorry about the glare, you guys. The, this deck is very glossy, so. High Priestess with the Queen of Cups. Intuition. This is all about intuition. Using your intuition. Trusting your intuition is what I just heard. Trust your intuition. Bottom of the deck, the world. So I definitely wanted to come out for some reason. I keep getting the world, the tower, and these readings. It's crazy. Check out the other readings if you don't believe me, but seriously. And I shuffle a lot, even off camera. I do a free shuffle. So I just think it's just fascinating that this is happening. So the high priest, is this something, secrets being revealed, knowledge, the letting down of a veil. Um, you know, someone very, uh, she she's guarded, but she's powerful. Give me one more. For the High Priestess. Clarify the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups. I feel like this is a, a sign about just using your intuition. Trust your gut. Tell me about the High Priestess, please. Nine of Wands. 
you've been through some some stuff <laughs> feeling a little bit paranoid a little bit you know your walls are up here I feel like you know in the past maybe you did not trust yourself I have another nine under the deck nine of cups wish fulfillment contentment so I feel like I feel like um, maybe right now you're in kind of like a sensitive time. Maybe you've been a little bit more, um, you know, um, spiritual or seeking more spiritual guidance. I feel like you, you, you're a little bit tired, weary. And the fact that this, this guy's um, looking back at the high priestess, it's almost like He's looking back at her for reassurance. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune, please. Oh, wow. Opportunity. New beginning. Solid offer here. This is long-term offer. And I feel like it's from the universe. It's right next to this Wheel of Fortune here. Bottom of the deck, I got the Eight of Cups. This tower is causing you to walk away towards this pinnacle, this new opportunity, this new, new cycle. But I feel like it had to happen. This tower had to come down. This Wheel of Fortune had to, the universe had to step in here for this to happen. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. <laughs> death. Sign of Scorpio. But look at this. Death and the tower. This had to happen for a transformation to take place. Jeez, I keep getting these cards. It is crazy. I think Scorpio had this exact same card cards together. Things are going to be fair and balanced in your favor. Fortune is on your side is what I keep hearing. Tell me about the five of wands. What's this drama or just or just conflict that you've been dealing with? This could be in terms of like family, relationships, work group, friend group. Tell me about the five of wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Okay, Page of Pentacles. Maybe this offer has cost a little bit of um, whatever Pentacles being brought in might be causing a little bit of conflict. Maybe this offer, this Pentacle that's coming in is making you see things in a different light. And maybe you're, you're having disagreements about someone because you're telling them that you're not going to accept. You're making a change. You're balancing things out. Again, Libra under the deck. I'm sorry, Justice under the deck. Tell me about this Page of Pentacles, please. Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles, please. Knight of Cups. So someone's coming in with a with an offer here. Could be an, an apology. Could be an offer of commitment. But this is like a small pentacle here. So maybe somebody that wants to just go study or or you know be be boyfriend girlfriend. Um, I feel like this situation with this Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles. It's it's like things are a little bit unsettled right now. You know, towers aren't comfortable, you guys. They're not, you know, they're difficult. They're unexpected. They they completely topple things over. Yeah, I feel like this Page of Pentacles, this Knight of Cups, is like 
I don't know, like there's there's some sort of like not being on the same page here is what I keep thinking. Difference of opinions, kind of like there's like a decision that has to be made and you don't agree with this person. Um, I think you're just worn out, honestly. And maybe this offer came in at the right time. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Swords, please. Temperance. I keep getting this card too. Divine is at play. Patience is at play. You've been waiting and wondering if this is going to happen. But I feel like it's going to happen. Maybe this is you right now, Capricorn. Maybe you are self-sufficient, single maybe. Just independent, doing things on your own. Maybe you're a little worn out about doing things on your own. But temperance, this is all about letting go and letting a higher power take over, trusting. I keep getting this card. I, I just, I'm sorry, it's just crazy to me that mo a lot of the signs are getting the same type of message, you know, like the universe is stepping in, shaking everything up for everybody. But it's mostly in our favor. I think because we don't know the future, we, we, we don't know what's behind the veil here. We kind of worry and, and wonder, you know? Tell me about the Knight of, Knight of Swords. Oh, okay. All right. Too many cards here. Devil, you came up in your own reading. So, okay, Knight of Swords. I immediately thought that this is somebody bringing you a message. Bottom of the deck is King of Swords. You guys are going to talk about something. There's a there's a conversation that's going to have information that's being found out, a truth that's being spoken. I also feel like you might, you know, again, it's like this, you've been in a bad mental space. You know, I feel like you're a little worn out. You've been, you know, battling and worrying. Maybe you haven't been sleeping very well. And then this news comes comes in. It might not be news that you love to hear, but it's news that had to come in. Tell me about the hangman. This this foundation had to come down, whether we wanted it to or not, because divine is at play here. The universe is stepping in and taking matters into their own hands. Oh. Two of swords. I feel like maybe, you know, you're a little bit stuck right now or feeling feeling like you you don't really know if you can make this choice, this decision, or, you know, it's like you don't know you don't know what to do right now with this information possibly. Again, I have page of cups or another offer of cups. So this is definitely somebody coming in to kind of rock your world with an offer. Tell me more about this two of swords. One more for two of swords, please. <laughs> King of Cups, yeah, somebody's definitely coming in and you're either not open to it right now or, or, or don't even know that this person's coming in. Nine of Cups under the deck again. You, you want this to happen. This is your wish fulfillment here, Capricorn. I think you just need to trust and believe that fortune is on your side. I think you need to trust that this death and this tower is going to bring about real transformation, real change that will be for the better, that will be just and in your favor. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much Capricorn for stopping by. If this resonated with you, let me know in the comments, like or subscribe. And if this did not resonate with you, please feel free to check out your other signs. I hope you have a great rest of your week.